In the late 70s, banking wasn't a job you went into to make large sums of money. And if banking was boring, then the bond department at the bank was straight up comatose. We all know about bonds. You give them to your snot-nosed kid when he turns 15. Maybe when he's 30, he makes 100 bucks. Boring. That is until Louis Ranieri came on the scene at Solomon Brothers. You might not know who he is, but he changed your life more than Michael Jordan, the iPod, and YouTube put together. <laughs> hey, gentlemen, let's get some money in here. Let's make some money. What do you say? You see, Lewis didn't know it yet, but he'd already changed banking forever with one simple idea. The mortgage-backed security, or private label MBS. You've got your average person's mortgage. Fixed rate, 30 years. Boring, safe, small payoff, right? But when you have thousands of them all bundled together, suddenly the yield goes up, but the risk is still small because, well, they're mortgages. And who the hell doesn't pay their mortgage? What exactly is the credit rating on this bond? This bond, gentlemen, is AAA rated. This is exactly what the Michigan State Pension Fund has been looking for. I'll buy 20 million. Oh, come on, live a little. 25 million. <laughs> the money came raining down. This is your basic mortgage bond. All right? The originals were simple. They were just thousands of AAA mortgages bundled together, guaranteed by the U.S. government. The modern ones are different. They're private, and they're made up of layers of tranches. The highest level AAA is getting paid first. The lowest rated B is getting paid last, taking on defaults first. Now, obviously, if you're buying Bs, you can make more money, but they're a little risky. Sometimes they fail. Somewhere along the line, these Bs and double Bs went from a little risky to dog shit. No income verification. Hello, I'm surveying mortgage owners who are over 90 days delinquent. I'm looking for a Harvey Humpsey. You want my landlord's dog? Your landlord filled out his mortgage application using his dog's name? How many loans do you write each month? Yeah. About six. Yeah. What was it four years ago? Ten. Do applicants ever get rejected? <laughs> <laughs> Even if they have no money? Well, my, my firm offers uh, ninja loans. Oh, yeah. No income, no, no job. You know, I just leave the income section blank if I want. Corporate doesn't care. When the market deems a bond too risky to buy, what do you think we do with it? You think we just warehouse it on the books? No. We just repackage it with a bunch of other shit that didn't sell and put it into a CDO. A CDO? Yes, a CDO. What is that? This is where we take a bunch of Bs, double Bs, and triple Bs that haven't sold, and we put them in a pile. And when the pile gets large enough, the whole thing is suddenly considered diversified. And then the whores at the rating agency give it a 92, 93% AAA rating. No questions asked. <sighs> Say that again. Collateralized debt obligation. It's important to understand because it's what allowed a housing crisis to become a nationwide economic disaster. Say that again. CDO A has parts of CDO B. CDO B has parts of CDO A, but then they both get put inside CDO C. Yeah, that one's called CDO squared. CDO of a CDO. Right? And then there's CDOs made up on the opposite side of the bed. You may wish swaps. We call them. Synthetic CDOs. What did you Synthetic say? CDOs. Synthetic CDOs. That is crazy. A's. Zero. B's. Zero. Double B's. Zero. Triple B's. Zero. And then that happens. What is that? That's America's housing market. I have a feeling and in a few years, people are going to be doing what they always do in the economy tanks. They will be blaming immigrants and poor people. But Mark was wrong. In the years that followed, hundreds of bankers and rating agencies executives went to jail. The SEC was completely overhauled, and Congress had no choice but to break up the big banks and regulate the mortgage and derivatives industries. Just kidding. Banks took the money the American people gave them and they used it to pay themselves huge bonuses and lobby the Congress to kill big reform. 
And then they blamed immigrants and poor people. And this time, even teachers. 